Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I am going to tell you how to do page numbering in Microsoft Word. Many times we require a page numbering at the bottom or top, right? And there are certain kind of formats. Some page number should be in Roman numerals, some page number should be just numbers which should start with one and all these things. So in this tutorial, we are going to cover all these things, all these variations, right? So let's start. So this is a sample document. So this is the title of the thesis. First page, so we don't require a page number here, but in the initial pages after that, we require numbering in Roman numerals like this, let us say. If you want like this this one two and three and so on and when the main content of the thesis starts like chapter number one this is a summary this is the last thing and when the main content of the thesis starts like chapter number one we require a page number in normal numbers and just again start with one right so this kind of page number and how to do this in microsoft word so in this tutorial i'm going to tell you how to do this step by step so let's take the same do same document which is without a numbers so this is the same document it doesn't have any page numbers so we'll do this thing right from the scratch okay now what you have to do is you just have to suppose i don't want to have a numbering page numbering in this page so i'll leave it like this and suppose if from this page i want page number right so what i have to do is i have to tell word that this section that will not have a page number and this section will have a page number right so to tell this word we just have to say go into layout and say that this is a different section right so you just have to go to a new page where you want to start page number and in the first thing it should be the first thing it should not have anything before that I'm clicking on this which so says that what is above this thing. So this is the first text of this page, right? It doesn't have anything, any spaces, any entropy before that. So this is required for that. So just go and click layout, breaks, and next page. Okay. So what it will do, it is not you cannot see it here, but when I just when I click on this show and hide thing. It will say that this is a section break it has inserted a section break right so it says word that this is a new uh, different section and this is a different section right so in this section we want page number let us say i want page number at the bottom so what i'll do i'll just go at the bottom of the page and double click okay it will show this design tab and this footer right and it will show section two now what i want to make sure is i want to make that it page number should not be linked to previous so i'll just uncheck this link to previous and just uncheck it and then i will go to page number and i will put page number like we have many options but for this tutorial i will just show you one option okay, you are free to choose any of this which whatever you require so i'll just put page number at the bottom so this is a page number but i don't want page number to be a numbers like one two three four it should be a roman numerals i will go again in page number and click on format page number here what i'll do is i'll just say i want a page number to be formatted as one two three four in roman numbers and it should start with one and it should not continue from previous section this is very important right so it is starting from one it is not linked to previous so this numbering will not affect any of the previous or later section it is only applicable for this section right so as you can see the page number is not appearing here because this is a different section and we don't require it right so that's why we have made a section break here now this page number will go one two three four like this and when i come to starting of a main thesis right this is chapter number one right so here i want page number to start again from one and it should not be roman it should be just numbers from one two three like that so what i'll do is i'll just say to word that this is a different section i and i want to do page numbering quite differently right so again i'll go to layout in page i'll just go and click next page so what it will do it will make a section break here previously it was not there i'll just uh, control to control z so you can see that there was no section break before but we have included a section break here so that we can do a complete different formatting for this section right so again what i'll go i'll go to this bottom of the page and there is no page number you can just go and click insert page number at the bottom and if you have different formatting you can go you are free to select any one of the formatting that you require right so i'll just do it is already there so i'll just change the formatting of this number and i want this number to not be linked to a previous section so link to previous i just have to go and uncheck it right 
and then what I'll do, I'll again go and change the formatting of this page number and now here in this section I want page number as 1, 2, 3 and it should start from 1, right? So I'll just press OK and see this is starting from 1. I'll just close the header. You can to close this header and footer. You can just click anywhere in between or you can click here. Now this is page number 1. It is starting from 1 as we required and in previous section yeah, it should be some different formatting like Roman numbers there. That is what we wanted and we can just go and see that in the first page there is no page number. Second page is starting with page number 1 with numerals and in the main part of the thesis where our main content starts chapter 1 and all these things page number will start again with 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is how you can do a different type of page numbering for your thesis, report, journals or any word of mail. So that's all in this video. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions and any suggestion, please comment it below. I'll try to improve upon that suggestion. And if you have any question, I'll try to answer it as quickly as possible. So thank you guys for watching this video. Bye-bye.